I honestly think uh, one of the adjustments that we made at uh, Big is like usually uh, our date nights is us and the kids. <laughs> And usually when uh, and I think we need to get that's what me and him talked about before that we do need to get a little bit better at self care in regards to like you know having a date night for him for ourselves and then having self care for ourselves because we tend to get too involved in too much we give it at a hundred and fifty percent being a special needs parent but we don't give any time to ourselves and I think that's very important as a couple we don't have time for ourselves. And then especially like since COVID, like there's no date nights, there's nothing. nothing. And I think that that's something that we'd have to prioritize. And that we talked about that. Remember that I said that we do have to prioritize it a little bit more because, you know, it, we need to make that change because it's for our sanity and it's for, you know, our mental and, health. And that's why sometimes, you know, uh, she'll, run the, uh, she'll run the errands and she'll go to, you know, go look at stuff and everything and I stay behind. And then let's say, you know, like the following weekend, I like to go to the swap meets. <laughs> and, you know, uh, we consider it as, what you call it, uh, meet time. And I'll go okay. to the swap meet, uh, look around, and then we come back. And that's like our little, you know, getaway, um, you know, from, from everything. And then we also at the same time, you know, especially because, you know, we don't want our daughter to feel left out. Like we're isolating her. Uh, she'll take her to do uh, a mommy and daughter, you know, patty, mm -hmm. and then um, I'll take her to uh, go get ice cream. You know, it's all about her. So and we try to make time for all, all the kids. Uh, all the kids. Because we, we, he does have his older son. And when he is here, we try to make it about him, try to make things, you know. It's hard because Emma needs 100% 100 of all of us. But we try to make it, you know, my... Well, um, our son JJ, he likes to watch movies. So we, I try to entertain Emmett and try to get him content with something else so we can, you know, watch a movie with him and do things for each one of the uh, each one of the kids. What we, uh, you know, did at the beginning when we noticed, uh, you know, what was going on, we did sit down with, you know, with our daughter and uh, with the oldest son and we talked to them and tell them, you know, there's going to be sometimes that it's gonna be hard to pay attention to you guys you know but we gotta help out your little brother but we're gonna try really hard to integrate with uh, you know with you guys and they understand and that's uh, you know when we came up uh, with their little thing uh, is called uh, team Emmett yeah. and we're all like on team Emmett and uh, you know my oldest he goes hey dad so we're like a, a bunch of superheroes and mm -hmm. Emmett's the leader I was like, yeah, that's how it is. And sometimes, you know, we go to the grocery store and it takes literally a whole team. <laughs> one gets a backpack, one gets them down, one makes it his shoes, uh, make sure he gets his shoes. Uh, another one, his blanket. It takes a whole team. Yeah. And little by little, you know, we've been adjusting and... And I think it's taught the kids patience. Like the other kids, it taught Amaya patience. Amaya is considered to have a disability. But it has also taught her to sometimes overcome her fears, overcome her anxieties to help her brother. So I think that's pretty neat that it has helped them overcome their own fears. And then also like our older son, he has learned so much about different disabilities and he's aware of like what an autism individual kind of looks like. But I mean, uh...